Chief Technology Officer, Intel Corporation, Pat Gelsinger. Welcome, welcome, invested in research and development, new products and new technology. That's what we've been trying to do at Intel. I know that. Uh, that's available and it, it will be available in the marketplace, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a tablet from Motion Computing, ultra low voltage processors, no fans. And you can see a range of other systems here as well. One from Gateway and two designs from Taiwan, one from FIC and one from ASUS. So a range of designs available in the marketplace. This is just a sampling. Uh, we have more designs underway on Centrino Mobile Technology. By factor of four is a Dotan wafer. Dotan is Centrino processor technology taken to 90 nanometers. Craig yesterday talked about we're in, uh, going to be in production in 2003, a 90 nanometer technology with 300 millimeter wafers. This is what you're seeing. This is going to be the first mobile processor on 90 nanometer technology going to 300 millimeter. Quick update on where we stand on that. 3 watts of power, a significant advancement in terms of reducing power on the display front. I would expect these kind of displays to be in place in the 2004 time frame, systems like Newport. In fact, Newport does use an LTPS display system. Uh, we are also working on alternative uh, fuel, uh, uh, alternative uh, power sources. And I have here another concept platform. This is a tablet that we showed last year. And it is fueled by a fuel cell, this blue thing here that I'm holding in my hand. And this is the first working prototype of a fuel cell for a notebook. This particular fuel cell is developed by Polyfuel, a startup company. It's an Intel Capital Investment Portfolio company. And in Polyfuel a couple of years, we'll be able to deliver 150 watt hour battery capacity. That's huge. And what I'd like to do is do some demos to show the performance and the power that Xscale brings. So again, this would be the Intel product on this side. It would be the TI product here. This here, smooth run, working very well. This device over here, not quite able to keep up. You're seeing stalls. You're seeing dropped frames. It's skipping forward, trying to trying to be. Is it the slideshow? <laughs> it almost looks like that, doesn't it? A few runs to the factory, the Prescott wafer. And what you'll see here is taking advantage of that 300 millimeter capability and delivering the next generation process and product into the marketplace.